CGI has helped films reach a new height of immersion and is now able to do things we could never do before. There are many that bemoan the over-reliance on visual effects in some movies, but really since the advent of CG in films like Tron, Terminator 2 and Jurassic Park, we've been able to create some truly incredible images. One thing that has been impacted negatively by the reliance on computers though, is the use of blood in films. Back before ones and zeros dictated what we see on screen, films relied on the use of practical blood. For example, to mimic a gunshot wound, squibs are used, which were tiny explosives under the actor's clothing attached to blood bags. But now, filmmakers are turning to the arguably easier and more cost-effective use of computer-generated visual effects to show blood hits on screen. You can almost guarantee any film that needs a blood splurting gunshot wound will utilize CG assistance in both subtle and more obvious ways. I completely understand why filmmakers want to use CG blood, especially with how expensive it is to spend time on set and the cleanup that comes with using blood. With the use of digital cameras now, filmmakers can shoot as many takes as they want over and over until they get what they need in an incredibly fast turnaround. And using practical blood necessitates a long amount of time spent between takes resetting everything if it doesn't work. Being able to have an actor fall over and over until they get it right and then just drop a digital blood effect over it later is obviously an attractive proposition trying to save money. But when it looks like this, is it really worth it? Filmmakers like Paul Verhoeven used to use practical blood effects to appear almost cartoonish, and yet ironically they look so much more real than the CG blood we see now. Tarantino said of this that a movie could be going along and be so cool, and then it gets to the CGI blood, and it just loses all the points it built up until then, and I agree with him. With all the money spent on costumes, sets, and actors to make everything look believable and perfect, to then shove something like this in there? It just takes you out of the movie and really, what's the point? Here's a shot from Taken. Now, I don't particularly like Taken, but would a big spurt of blood here improve anything? Though CG blood is commonly relied on in low budget films, Hollywood is guilty of it too. Some filmmakers do use it well though, and in some films you may not even notice a reliance on it. Due to his use of many takes to ensure he is happy with a shot, David Fincher does use CG blood often, but doesn't just drop it in. Here in Zodiac, all of the blood is computer generated, but you might not notice it. And that was eight years ago. Contrast that with 2013's Gangster Squad, that though it cuts too quickly for you to sometimes notice it's CG blood, it doesn't do it particularly well when it is on screen. Filmmakers like Robert Rodriguez and Sylvester Stallone are some of the worst offenders of poorly used CG blood today. And it's sad, as both have some great violent action scenes that utilize fantastic practical effects too. When he made Desperado, Rodrigo supported his gunfights with some excellent squib work. But recently in the Machete films, he depends almost solely on computers to bring the blood. And it just doesn't look real. And I'd argue that adds nothing to the scene, even taking away from it. What you're seeing is so obviously fake and dropped in with such little care, that why should we care as an audience? Stallone's films are interested in that they utilize both. 2008's Rambo has some pretty dramatic practical blood, but then next to that, he uses some pretty poor CG. Having such realistic looking blood in one shot, and then such obviously compositive visual effects in the next, just makes the contrast between the two even more dramatic. And now in TV shows like The Walking Dead, where a fast turnaround on set is required, depending on CG does make sense. However, if your blood looks this bad, do you really need it? Would cutting down on your use of visual effects really impact the show too much, if it means you can make the blood you do add in later look better. You know, whatever happens, CG blood is here to stay, and that isn't necessarily a bad thing. It can be done well, but only if time is spent making it blend with the on-screen action. Audiences do love blood, but just dropping in there to sate their thirst isn't gonna help. Instead, it just makes your scenes stand out as fake. Films are about suspension of disbelief, and seeing liquid, something that we see every day, move in such an obviously fake manner is going to immediately make us disbelieve anything on screen. However hard you've worked, to make everything else feel real.